Does Kurt think Samoa Joe is one of the more underrated talents in pro wrestling? He had such a high ceiling in WWE, but they never seemed to use him to his full potential. Well, you know what, Joe, he got utilized properly in TNA at the beginning. And until he lost his undefeated streak against me, his 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 um, value dropped dramatically. They never really picked back up and brought Joe back to the level he was when he was undefeated. And I think that carried on over to the WWE. And uh, I think the WWE could have done more with him. Uh, they did do some. They did a lot. But I, I know they could have done more. He was that talented. I'm not sure if it had to do with his look. Uh, I love his look. I think that everybody should be different, big, tall, short, wide, doesn't matter. But uh, I don't know if it had to do with his look. But Samoa Joe uh, was so talented. He deserved to be a WWE champion. He really did. And that's not me blowing smoke. That's me being honest. Hey, and he's in, you said intense, always moving forward in the ring, coming at you. I thought he had very good mic skills. He could dip yeah. down on the mic. He was so articulate. I mean, yeah. that guy, he did my Hall of Fame speech, and I never heard a better speech than what he did for me. He, he is a really smart individual. We are big Samoa Joe fans here on the uh, the Kurt Angle Show, and I love still seeing him get it done in the AEW ring. Um, that's where he belongs, man. When they, when they I'll tell you what, when and I know you don't get to watch it as much, but you know they when he and CM Punk got in the ring and faced off because they had a series of matches back in the day for Ring of Honor that are kind of legendary – among wrestling savants and people that have really followed it, that place in Chicago exploded. Um, oh, I can imagine that. <laughs> oh, it, it was it was goosebumps, and uh, I want to see Samoa Joe in those kinds of matches more often. You know, because he can yeah, bring he it. Deserves it. Yeah, yeah. Matthew Podcast Network. Any dream stipulation you wanted to do with Samoa Joe, like an ultimate submission match? Is there something cool like that you'd love to do with him? Would have loved to do with him. I would have liked to do a submission match or an Iron Man match. I think that Joe and I could have a really good Iron Man match. I don't even think we need a lot of falls or submissions. I think maybe three at the most, which is not a lot by any means. I mean, when I wrestled Brock, we had seven falls and submissions. So I think Samoa Joe could, and, and myself could pull that off, but just three. Okay. 